Hello, I'm Ryan here. Today we're going to be working on the uh, furnace thermostat here again. Basically, uh, part two. If you didn't see last episode, everyone, uh, we took away the old, you know, the round dial thermostat here and put in this uh, fancy smart scheduling automated thermostat here that does all kinds of things. I have no idea what it even all does, but it does all kinds of things. Uh, one of the things it can do, everyone, is, of course, control the blower and air conditioning and all that good stuff on the furnace. Uh, the furnace we have currently does not support any of that. However, if we include one of these, Evan, hopefully it will be able to. This is simply just a relay, essentially, that we can hopefully attach to the blower, one, and then I can have this thermostat hooked up to this to turn the blower on and off. That's the theory. We're going to find out if that works or not. Not sure. It should. We'll, uh, we'll see what's on. So we're going to go down to the furnace here, uh, get this hooked up in with the uh, blower, and I'll, I'll explain down there, too, how the current blower is hooked up. Okay, down in the dark corners of the basement, everyone, we have the old the furnace. This is a uh, Williamson furnace, del uh, the deluxe model. I don't know, you know, fancy back in the day, right? I suppose, anyway. Uh, but currently, I'm on the blower on this furnace is controlled by this uh, control module thing here. Basically, all it is, everyone, is a temp sensor that detects the internal temperature of the furnace and then turns the blower on accordingly and shuts it off accordingly. That's, that's basically how it works, everyone. So again, the thermostat here only turns on the gas valve down there. Once the gas valve is on, of course, the furnace should get hot, in theory, and that heat should then turn on this temperature control module and turn the blower on. Well, I also want to be able to turn it on via the thermostat. So that is what this is going to be for. So we need to wire it in such a way of that both this can turn the furnace or turn the blower on, and this will turn the blower on. That should be relatively simple. We'll have the, I don't know which one's in and out here. I don't know if it even matters per se. Yeah, I don't really see an in and out indicated on this. But anyway, uh, we'll have the blower connected on one end, everyone. And then the, let's see, think about this here a minute. Blower on one end and the power in on the other end. And then this will also be connected to the blower as well. So I think we got that figured out, everyone. And then, of course, the uh, thermostat will be connected to the relay section. Now, for those who don't know how a relay works, basically a relay allows you to turn on and off high voltage with low voltage. So low voltage in on this side and that side there, and then your high voltage is up here and on this side. Okay, well, I got everything uh, kind of sort of torn apart here. I ran a brand new wire up to the control here, coming down to, I think it's, yeah, this one right here that I'm gonna run to this uh, relay here, along with the uh, blower here. So the blower wire is right there. That's uh, going into the blower there. Hopefully you can see that right back there. That's going into the blower. Uh, what I'm gonna do everyone, is I'm gonna take the hot wire off the fuse here. And when I was about to do that, I noticed this thing's like, it's like loose, I mean, it's not even tight. So wow, I'm gonna go double check all the connections on here before I put this all back together. Uh, basically gonna run a hot wire from here. Well, actually I'm gonna tee it in with a wire nut, everyone. And run a hot wire from here. It's obviously gonna stay on here, go up to there, and then it's also gonna go down to this uh, relay block, and then we'll uh, connect them back in together on this side with both the blower and this unit. Hopefully that makes sense, Evan. We'll, I'll explain it here once we get it all wired up. And then we also need to get the uh, thermostat here. That'll be the green wire tied into this here as well. Okay, Kevin, well, I think we got it all wired up here. So again, how this works, power comes in from the uh, switch and the fuse up here, goes down to this uh, wire nut down here where it splits off going both to the relay and up to the combination control. Uh, then from the fan, it comes back down from the combination control, goes to this wire nut, which uh, goes to the blower motor, then also has a wire coming from the relay into it. So both the combination and the relay can turn the blower on. I just need to hook up the low voltage yet. I don't have those hooked up at the moment just because I need to put this back on, and I wanted to show you folks inside that box there first before I did that. And I don't have any self tap with screws yet at the moment, so that man's best friend right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing like a little duct tape. And by the way, I'm going to get an enclosure for this too because this is high voltage. Uh, I just want to make sure this all works here first before I bother uh, doing that. Okay, we'll just uh, turn the power back on and what do you know it? The blower uh, kicks on here like a moment later. Apparently the uh, thermostat uh, was calling for the blower to turn on. I do have it set to uh, circulate and also the AC might be being called for too. I'm not entirely sure. I think that was the yellow wire. So there might be voltage on that yellow wire there too. I'm not sure I'd have to check that. Uh, that was the other option, by the way. I, mean, I could have also wired up. I thought about doing this. Uh, I think it's the yellow is for the AC, if I remember correctly. But I thought about turning or plugging that. And actually, what there is a second connection on there. I could plug it into there as well. So I could turn the blower on that way. That way, when the thermostat calls for air conditioning, which again, this, this furnace doesn't have it, but we do have the window unit up there. 
uh, that'll just kind of like circulate the air through the entire house rather than you know, actually necessarily turn an AC on. It just circulates the blower. Uh, but I think that'll work this way too, I mean, because uh, again, when it turns on the air conditioning, it should also, I would think, turn on the blower. So that should work, uh, should work pretty good. I think we're gonna let that uh, sit for a moment and uh, we'll see once how it works. Okay, well, I think this system's actually working out uh, pretty good. Uh, the system has been running now for a while. I simply have it, let's see if I can get back into the uh, settings here, schedule, spring, fall, heat, cool, let's see, during the week. I have, I guess I need to go to each one here, uh, I have the fan set to circulate. It looks like what it does, I mean, is it turns the uh, blower on for, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so every five to ten minutes. I haven't exactly timed it. But uh, basically what it does, I mean, it kicks the blower on for a little bit, shuts it off, waits a little bit, kicks it back on. So it just it turns the blower on every uh, now and then, which I, yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with how that's uh, working. So, yes, looks like we got this all set up. Let me get back onto this here a minute. And then also when, when uh, the thermostat here calls for cooling, again, we don't have air conditioning on this furnace, but when it calls for cooling, everyone, it does kick on the blower. So again, uh, assuming this thermostat calls for cooling, I mean, that probably means, well, I guess you can't see it here, but the window air conditioner in the other room there will most likely probably be on, and that should help circulate, again, the back. Actually, let's just go back there. I can see it from right here. So again, the window air conditioner, everyone, that'll help pull, hopefully, in theory, the cold air from that room throughout the rest of the house. That's the theory, anyway. So again, that was kind of the main reason I wanted this. And I'll have to say, again, it is working out pretty good here so far. Just got to comment on one more idea I happen to have with this. I, mean, I don't know if it's possible or not, but how hard would it be to actually hook the thermostat up to this? Don't know if that's possible or not. Uh, again, I mean, in theory, this window AC is big enough to cool the entire house. It's just a matter of getting the air from here throughout the rest of the house. So again, the reason I have the blower hooked up the way it is. Just uh, just happened to think of that. That'd be kind of cool. Don't know if that's possible or not. I might, I, uh, might actually look into that. See what's how hard it'd be. Then the uh, thermostat can turn this on and off. So, you know, again, it, it's, I don't know what it is in here, 74. It's set to 74 anyway, what the actual temperature is. It's probably right around 74 if I had to guess. Uh, so it's not running at the moment, but uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, I think that's going to do it for this uh, video. For, oh, by the way, the uh, blower here on my way down, obviously you can probably hear, oh, maybe you can't hear, uh, did shut off. So again, the uh, thermostat here on the circulate mode shut the blower back off. Uh, I do need to get a box of some sorts to cover this with. At the moment, everyone, this is high voltage, at least underneath the tape here. And, I, and for that matter, I just got a duct tape to the side of the furnace too yet. So <laughs> uh, janky installation 101 going on here. Um, but uh, yeah, working out really good, Evan. So like I said, I need to get some sort of electrical box for this yet. I shouldn't have too much trouble finding something like that. Just uh, I didn't want to get something, Evan, until I actually had this and I could measure, knew what and where the wires were and all that good stuff. Uh, I can figure that out. Then we'll get, uh, like I said, I'll get an electrical box for this at some point to cover that all up, make it look a little more official and clean this up here as well. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much done with this project. I'm really happy with how this is uh, working out here so far. We'll probably have to, you know, play with the settings a little bit, maybe in the thermostat there, figure out what uh, what we're going to like, what we're not going to like. Maybe we'll see once here. But so far, when the circulate mode seems to be working pretty good. Again, it just kicks the blower on every now and then, just, you know, keeps the air throughout the entire house, hopefully relatively the same.